What was the moment that your game of truth or dare got way out of control? Me, truth. My sister, mom and dad never loved you. Me, I don't think that's how the game works. My late 20s cousin took me to his apartment when I was around 8 or 9. Stripped down to his underwear and wanted to play truth or dare. I dared him to put his pants back on unfortunately. He complied and didn't proceed with the game any further. Still freaked me the duck out. Playing with some friends a long time ago. It was a card based game. Like cards against humanity. Where everyone had a pile of truth cards and dare cards. For each turn the victim would opt for a truth or a dare. The questioner would then pull the top card from the appropriate stack. Either a card with a question on it, usually off color or loaded with sexual innuendo, or a card with a dare on it, also semi-sexual, but suitable for adult parties. We were two couples, and so we took turns as couples. That is, each partner would take turns with the other partner of the couple. The other couple was a pair of young newlyweds. The woman asked her husband if he wanted a truth or a dare. He replied truth. She pulled the top card. Have you ever paid for six? His answer, yes. Things got very chilly the rest of the night. When I was around around 10 I played truth or dare with some girls a few years older than me. I got dare to TP the principal's house of their school. It was a pretty big house maybe 3500 square feet. They all ended up coming with me. But my dad catches us sneaking out and asks us where we're going. All of the girls start stammering and trying to tell a lie. And I look at my dad and say we're gonna go TP a house. My dad starts laughing and responds with well sounds like you need adult supervision for that let's go. We ended up bringing a 10 pack of toilet paper and using the entire thing. Twas a funny night. Not truth or dare but during a game of never have I ever my friend said never have I ever blown a guy all the girls put down fingers. Said friend looked at my boyfriend and said ah you have to put a finger down. Turned out my boyfriend cheated on me with a guy. Kicker every single person in the room playing the game knew about it but me. Awkward silence ensued. I think my most exciting game of truth or dare was cut down in its prime when a guy dared his girlfriend to flash everyone and then broke down crying because now everyone had seen her bikini zone and he no longer felt special. At my first job. Back when I was a teenager. About 6 of us were playing this mid shift. 3 girls. 3 guys. It was barely starting to get risque registered sign and one of the guys is asked have you ever masturbated to thoughts of a co-worker? And he says yes. This is as juicy as it's gotten. So we latch onto it. The next time around. He's asked if he's masturbated to anyone else playing. He says yes. Next round. He's asked to name which of us he's jerked it to. He looks at us one by one. Then says all of you. The guys all got flustered as hell. They'd never even realized they were on the roster. This girl asked her friend to dare someone to have unprotected sex with her. When he received the dare he literally just got up and walked out the house. Then the girl gets drunk. Tries it on with a few guys there. To which they all rejected. Confessed her love to another guy there. Threatened to kill herself. Then fell asleep. This was a few years ago. I saw her a few months back and she looked pretty normal to me. That is pretty and normal. But I will never forget that day. I was 14 or 15. I do not remember. Someone dared a much older girl to make out with me in a closet for 5 minutes. She was very pretty, way out of my league and I think 18 or 19. But she took the dare. We get in the closet in the basement that was very small and very hot. Smelled like old mothballs and old clothes. She smelled like cigarettes, nice shampoo, and bubblegum. She gave me a super soft little kiss on the cheek and then, in very limited space, gave me my first and most memorable blowjob ever. I did not know how to react since this was before the internet. I honestly had no idea people did this. I remember being very excited when anyone after that said we should play truth or dare. D. At a sleepover in junior high we dared our friend to strip down to his underwear. You know. Homoerotic pubescent stuff. He comes out from the other room completely naked and gyrating. Saying you got more than you bargained for. Edit. Thank you for the gold. I will not take this responsibility lightly. When a guy I didn't know was dared to jack off under a blanket and finish while everyone watched. Everyone watched. 
my friend's little brother, 9 or 10 years old, came in and dared one of the girls to slit her finger open. Put a paperclip into her finger then stick that paperclip into an electrical outlet while it was still in her finger. After we told him no he offered a replacement dare. Which was to go down the street and burn down the church. I, 24F, was playing truth or dare with my roommates. 24M, 25M, roommate number 1 dares roommate number 2 to pee on me. Neither of us put up a fight. Roomie number 1 made us feel weird for being down for the dare. Me, a cousin, and a couple of buddies were at a youth conference in another town. After the conference was over, we got to chatting with a group of girls from the town. We decided to hang out back at our hotel room. We were all just chatting and listening to tunes when all of the sudden, all four girls went to the bathroom together, leaving us sitting there like chumps. When they came out, they were all grinning, but we thought nothing of it. A few minutes later, one of them proposed a game of truth or dare, but they insisted the girls would be the ones to make all the dares. We agreed, hoping for at least some scraps of action. Long story short, every single one of us wound up getting laid. One of the guys even did it on the floor, and the other couple ducked in the bathroom. Turns out, the girls had planned it all along. They decided in advance which of them wanted each of us, got their story straight, and then proposed the game. They'd even brought their own condoms. The only drawback was, got, did it stink like duck in that room when my uncle came strolling in to wake us up the next morning. Friend got dared by his girlfriend to have a six with her in the other room and finish inside her. No birth control. He refused. They broke up. We found out it was a setup she had planned to get herself priggies and force him to marry her. Strange night. In my first or second year of uni my group of friends and I were having a get together after finals ended. Considering finals had just ended and it was only about 7 of us. Consuming alcohol seemed like the go-to activity. So once the buzz started to hit us one of my friends tried to start a game of spin the bottle. But being a group of 3 couples and one single guy we decided to play truth or dare instead. Like all truth or dare games it started out pretty innocently. Take more shots. Who's your celebrity crush? Act. But eventually things turned a bit weird. Our one single guy decided to dare one of the girls to lick whipped cream off of his schlong. And with a reluctant nod from her boyfriend she got to action. Or, at least tried to. Once she took off the dude's pants and saw his, well, hung appendage she yells damn I've never seen one this big. And before she could even uncap the whipped cream her boyfriend was swinging full force at the guy. Me and my other friend had to get in between a half naked guy and a drunk ape. And by the time we split them up everyone was uncomfortable as hell. After we resolved it and me and my girlfriend started leaving I just remember her leaning up to my ear and telling me she knew her boyfriend was self conscious about his D. I was playing truth or dare with some friends during lunch in high school. Someone dared me for whatever reason to take my friend's inhaler and spray it in another friend's ear. I was being stupid and without thought I actually did it. One of the deans in my school was watching across the room and I nearly got suspended for assault. They even had a police office come and talk to me about my actions. I was actually scared it less because that was my first time ever getting into huge trouble. Luckily the vice principal spared me and didn't even notify my parents because she knew I was a good kid. The game was escalating too fast anyway. This wasn't even the worst thing that happened that night but. Gay friend accepted a dare to put his erect D in a female friend. Boyfriend got him hard and while everyone, including the victims, laughed, he mounted friend. And started pumping away. OMG this actually feels great. He managed to get out before looking really ecstatic. She was enjoying herself as well. It got awkward as xy. They were just plain ducking. It didn't last long. He came. OMG I just came. Ha ha ha. OMG if I get pregnant I'm gonna kill you ha 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 ha. The game went on. More awkwardness was had. Nothing topped the awkwardness of her calling him a week later. In tears. Because she was indeed pregnant. She did not murder him in the end. The kid just turned 18. For your information. One of my friends put Tabasco in his eye. It was either truth or dare or the result of a game of poker. It's been 10 years or more ago. Conservative Christian school. Truth or dare app. Tusk, 
Dry hump the person to your right for 30 seconds. Teacher was there. Needless to say the game ended quickly. At a party someone asked who gave you the best blowjob ever, hoping to get a compliment. Instead, we found out that the man had received a BJ from every woman there and one of the men. That started a long chain of wait Bob had six with Sally, when, etc. Names changed. Feelings were hurt. PSI was also at a party where people decided that truth or dare was too much effort so we played a strip game. We had game components that said yes no depends. You stripped on a yes and drew again on depends. Eventually every went streaking and there was sumo wrestling in the backyard. I dared someone to fart on command. She did. Wild night that was. Phew. A girl didn't hug me so I threw my Capri Sun at her. Edit. Well. Bet you can't jump that ditch. Four hours later the guy had dislocated one of shoulders the doctor told us. Dead of winter and somebody dared one of my classmates to stick his tongue to a flagpole. Didn't even use proper dare etiquette. Me. Dare. Wife. I dare you not to pull out. Our baby is five months old now. Turned into a threesome with at the time GF and her friend. Probably the most extreme was at a weekend cabin party I was at. We were in a hot tub. There were seven of us. Most of the women were topless and some of us guys were bottomless. This had been going on for like a couple hours at this point. And we were supremely drunk. The dares got a little sick sure. But that's not the extreme part of this. It's early May. But as the night goes on it gets very cold. Then it starts to rain. Then the wind picks up. We're all too exposed and afraid of the cold to want to leave the safety of the hot tub. I also think we were too drunk to notice the conditions around us getting worse. But eventually we started sobering up and the heat of the water started dissipating. Still, the game continued. We were all shivering but no one wanted to be the first to wimp out. Until our sober sibling for the night comes out and yells at us to come in. The hot tub was sort of in the corner of this cabin. So she was surprised at what she saw to say the least. Not 5 minutes after we gather our clothes and get inside. A gust of wind comes through and starts blowing around the furniture outside and also knocks out power. Later we found out that the wind we had continued to play truth or dare in had gotten up to 70 miles per hour. There was some serious damage back in town. Some of the town didn't have power for a week, which makes it surprising that we still had it at our dinky cabin on the side of a mountain. When we left two days later there were branches blocking the road down from the cabin we had to clear. We all came very close to dying of hypothermia and or having our heads split open by flying furniture. I was dared to touch a cow pie, put a finger on it and the person who dared me shoved my entire hand in, grabbed a handful and flung it at her. Probably 20 years old at the time, GF her sister and girl cousin from Germany were in the car. Cousin said let's play and so we all said okay. All fun and games till we pull over into a McDonald's parking lot and I get dared to walk in and order fries in my underwear. They drove off and I had to borrow the phone to call my GF to make them come back for me. Saw all their tits though. So it was worth it. Played it with some friends at one of their apartments. Before the game we wrote down dares on slips of paper. And on one of the slips I wrote down that you had to strip down to your underwear with your pants around your ankles. Wear a blue shirt as a cape. Exit the apartment and slowly waddle to the end of the long hallway and back. All while repeatedly saying gotta go fast. I thought it was bizarre and great. I picked my own dare. When I was dared to jump off the roof with a blindfold with a lit firework in my pants. A guy stood right at the edge and chat into the swimming pool at the motel we were staying at. The moment it turned into a drunk all out orgy. When I had to reveal my true middle name. When I was 12 I was on the porch playing truth or dare at night. We were told to stay on the porch. So a dare came to run across the road to the street light and back. So all three of us girls did it. I was wearing a plain t-shirt and a ball cap hiding my hair in typical tomboy fashion. As we hit the light post and began to run back to the porch a car comes screeching round the corner to stop in the middle of the intersection. Man jumps out with a crowbar. We freak and run for the house. And he gives chase. I was last in the small herd. And I have been told just as the crowbar is about to come down on me I screamed and he stopped. 
The man yells were you throwing rocks at my ducking car? No. I cried as it's now full on fear tears. But I'm still running. He pivots around and leaves. Just as quickly as he showed up in his newish Camaro. I assume he realized I was not in fact. A boy. We're panicked. Freaking out this psycho almost killed me. Once the sound of his engine fades. Across the street two boys come out of the dark between two houses. About our age. One in a ball cap. Asking if we're okay. Yes. They were the throwers of the rocks. And hightailed it home after confirming I had not been bludgeoned to death for their childish vandalism. No idea what happened to the man. And our parents never called the cops. If memory serves I'm not sure they believed us. And we're pissed we left the porch. I'm 34 now and remember that run like it was yesterday.